Hello and welcome to the SAP S4HANA Supply Chain Microlearning with the title Schedule the Creation of Physical Inventory Documents. My name is Gerhard Welker and I am Product Manager for SAP S4HANA Manufacturing, Supply Chain and Asset Management. In this video, you will learn how to create and schedule a job to create physical inventory documents for your physical inventory process. In the first part of this microlearning, we will take a look at the physical inventory process flow in SAP s hana in general. And as an example, we will look at the process with four physical inventories per fiscal year. In the second part of this microlearning, we will schedule the creation of physical inventory documents by using and adopting a predefined job template in the SAP s hana system. First, let us start with an overview of the physical inventory process flow in SAP s hana as shown in the figure. At the beginning of the process flow, you always create a physical inventory document which can be printed out if desired. The next step is a physical counting which could be done directly via the SAP Fiori app in the system, for instance on a tablet PC or paper based on a printout. As soon as the count results are entered in the system, the processor can see if there are any differences in value or quantity and can then decide to either post the physical inventory document or to order or perform a recount of stock. At the end of the process, it is necessary to post a physical inventory document so that at a certain point of time, a physical inventory document can be created. The yellow arrow in the figure shows the focus of this microlearning, the entire process step of physical inventory document creation. Of course, you can do this manually in the system. In this microlearning, you will learn how to schedule a batch shop for physical inventory document creation as an automation step. Before we do this in the system, let's run through an example with four physical inventories per fiscal year in theory. In general, two conditions have to be fulfilled that a new physical inventory document can be created for a particular material in the system. First, a material document, such as goods issue, goods received, and material movements, has to be posted for the particular material. This means that the physical inventory document can also be created for a material with zero stock if a goods receipt was posted for the material before. You can check this condition with the Material Documents Overview app, which enables you to display a list of material document items and display the material document details of a selected material document item. Second. Previously created physical inventory documents for the particular material have to be counted and posted before a new physical inventory document for this material can be created. You can check this condition with the Physical Inventory Document Overview app or with the Physical Inventory Analysis Design Studio app. The time series in the upper third of the figure shows a group of materials to be counted quarterly. The physical inventory documents are already posted in the system up to the first quarter Q1 in 2020. The physical inventory documents posted are shown in the lower third of the figure. Today is the beginning of the second quarter of 2020. Your task, for example, as an inventory manager is now to schedule the physical inventory count for these materials in the following four quarters. The Schedule Physical Inventory Document Creation app supports you in automatic and scheduled creation of physical inventory documents in the background to get the result at the right time when you need them. You have the choice between two different approaches for scheduling the creation of physical inventory documents. First one is annual inventory. You use your annual inventory to schedule a physical inventory for all materials that have to be counted since the last run, for example, because you need to prepare the physical inventory that is due by the end of the fiscal year. Second option is cycle counting. You use the physical inventory method of cycle counting when a continuous inventory is desired. You count your material stocks at regular intervals within the fiscal year here. By assigning materials to various classes via the cycle counting indicator, you specify for those materials at which intervals or cycles the inventory is to be performed. This allows you to count fast-moving materials in your warehouse more often than slow-moving materials, for example. The physical inventory of the materials shown in the figure is managed by cycle counting. This means the materials are classified with an appropriate cycle counting indicator value for quarterly physical inventory. The time series in the middle of the figure shows two important parameters 
which are defining the scanning function of the batch job. First one is a recurrence pattern for scheduling, which offers different options like single run or recurrence pattern on a minute, hourly, daily, weekly, or monthly basis. Second parameter is a planned count date interval, which defines a relative time interval for which you want to determine the creation of the necessary physical inventory documents for your cycle counting process. The figure shows that the batch job is started monthly from the second quarter in 2020 until the first quarter in 2021. According to the recurrence pattern for the job scheduling, the planned count date interval is set equal to next 30 days. As a result, a batch job is started every month to select those materials for physical inventory count that are ready for counting within the next 30 days. The monthly recurrence pattern ensures that once a month physical inventory documents will be created. For comparison, if you choose a daily recurrence pattern for the job scheduling, a batch job is started every day that selects those materials for physical inventory count which are ready to counting. In this case, you should set the planned count date interval equal to next one day. Let us now schedule the creation of physical inventory documents by using and adapting a predefined job template in the SAP s hana system. For this purpose, I'm logged on as an inventory manager, open the SAP Fury app Schedule Physical Inventory Document Creation and press the Create button. The app offers two predefined job templates, one for annual inventory and the other for cycle counting. To find the template for cycle counting, I delete the default value in the value help. Then the value help offers all templates, the predefined and also the customer specific templates. I choose the template for cycle counting. Step 2 leads me to the scheduling options, like start date, end date, and the recurrence pattern. I press the define recurrence pattern and choose the recurrence pattern for monthly job scheduling. Then I skip step 3 and continue directly with step 4 for maintaining the parameters. Because of the used template, the process type cycle counting was already set as default, but it's also possible to choose the process type annual inventory here. The process type determines specific fields displayed on the UI. If you change the process type, the specific fields for the chosen physical inventory process will change too. Have a look on the UI fields when I change the process type from cycle counting to annual inventory. The document header parameters, date selection type and planned count date interval are replaced by planned count date and two additional options extend the stock types parameter. But I continue here with the process type cycle counting. Restrict the plan parameter to one plant as recommended and enable all regular stock types. Please note that special stocks are not taken into account. The date selection type parameter allows the user to maintain a static or relative plant count date interval. I maintain a relative plan count date interval. And choose the date function next 30 days. Now I check the settings and save the template with a new name. Last but not least, the user can press the schedule button to complete the process. Then a new job is created and listed in the job table. The system runs the job as scheduled. After execution, you can see information about the log and the results in the table. With this, we are at the end of the system demo. Let's summarize the key learnings. 
you have learned how to create and schedule jobs to create physical inventory documents by using and adopting the predefined job templates for annual inventory and cycle counting. For further learnings, check out the offering of open SAP courses on open.sap.com and check out SAP's learning journeys on help.sap.com slash learning journeys. Thank you and goodbye.